Welcome back, everybody, to part 11 of the Ranger 363V series. And sorry about last week, guys. I was really busy here at the office and uh, getting certified for some electrical stuff. But anyways, I got to work on the boat a little bit, so this is going to be a short video. And today we're going to be working in the back compartment of the boat. Since the motor is off, we have easy access to this compartment. And guys, it's a mess. It has cobwebs, and the wiring job is atrocious, and we need to replace all all the hoses and bilges and aerators that are in here but as you can see it's really dirty and the electrical job is an absolute joke as you can see it's just pieced together with non-waterproof connectors and then even some electrical tape and if you look here they even used one of those like twist on screw caps that you would use like in your house so super safe but without further ado, we're going to get into this and we're going to start taking everything out to put new stuff in. Real quick, I'm gonna go over probably the easier way to get all these hoses out. Um, I would start right here. There's a piece of fiberglass that the areas are attached to that just slides out. And then I would go and disconnect all the hoses here, 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 about four places. And then you just be able to slide out the whole assembly with the hoses still attached, it'd be a lot easier to work on outside of the boat. And then you have easier access also to get to the rest of the hoses that are still left in the boat. Uh, just a little tip for anybody that encounters this later on in the future. I would not recommend using a right angle grinder to take a transducer out. The best way I found was a chisel and a hammer. One swift hit and it came right out. But this is the piece I was talking about earlier with the picture. You're going to see me here in a second pull both aerators out. It just slides right out. And it would have made my life a lot easier getting all the rest of the plumbing taken out. But this is what the boat looks like without anything in the back. I know it's a terrible picture. It was really dark, really late at night, so I didn't have any good lighting. But uh, next week we're going to be putting the aerators of the bilges back and replumbing, and it's going to start getting new stuff. So until next week, guys, I'll see you then. 